Welcome to my latest modification video and this time I'll be tackling the next section, converting it to mains power. But as always, before I begin... Really? So the first thing to do is dismantle the whole lot of it, being careful with the LEDs and circuit board should I ever need them again. Because I'm going to light it up from the outside of the panels, the reflectors are no good as they are, so I'll take them all and put them in a container with isopropyl alcohol to strip the paint off them. While I'm waiting for that, I moved on to where the switch set and filled it in with putty, as the hole needs to be covered up. Same for the port and starboard LEDs on the top of the neck, as they don't belong on the ship, and I left that to dry for a day or so. The impulse engine, while it was okay, I felt it could be a little closer to the actual model, so I sprayed the parts that were clear a clear red. When off, the red looks black, and I think that looks much better. And when on, it lights up fully. So to light the windows throughout the neck, 5 LED strips is plenty. Simply solder them all together with two additional cables to run down into the secondary hull. As you can see, there's enough light there to do the whole neck. That's the reflector stripped and I then coated them with a couple of coats of frosted glass. And now I put it all back together again. The cables to run to the secondary hull, I was going to pass them down through the clamps, but it's too tight, so I drilled a small hole for them in the floor. After filling the holes with putty where the port and starboard lights were, I sprayed the areas with a light grey Tamiya XF80. It was a little too light, so I then used FX53, a medium grey, to darken it a little, and that turned out perfectly. And that's it all done, a simple enough mod, and I now have a bag of spare LEDs. Right now, I'm not going to tackle the saucer, I can run that off the batteries as it is, while the rest of it will be off the mains, at least for now. The last update from Eagle Moss a few days ago basically just said issue 21 is still awaiting delivery. Let's just hope it's not another 4 months like it was last year. Until then, thanks for watching and hailing frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell too. Thank you.